Once upon a time, in a little town called Brightsville, there was a boy named Paul. Paul loved to explore and was always curious about everything around him. One sunny day, as Paul walked through the town, he found an old shop with a sign that said, Wandering Wonders Emporium. The door creaked as he opened it, and inside he met a friendly old man who gave him a shiny gold key. Hello, little adventurer. How about going on a journey to the land of floating islands? The old man suggested, handing Paul the magical key. Paul's eyes sparkled with excitement as he took the key. When he used it to open a secret door in the shop, a gust of wind whisked him away to a magical world full of floating islands. The land of floating islands was amazing! Islands floated high in the sky, connected by colorful rainbow bridges. Paul discovered gardens where flowers sang and lakes where sea creatures danced. Everywhere he went, there were friendly creatures who welcomed him with big smiles. As he explored, Paul met the sky dwellers, who were people made of clouds. They showed him how to jump from one floating island to another, and they told him about the Grand Sky Race, a super exciting race that happened only once every hundred years. Paul was so excited that he decided to join the race. The race took him through windy twists, over sparkling waterfalls, and under beautiful rainbows. Along the way, he made friends with funny creatures on each island. They laughed and played together, making the adventure even more fun. In the last part of the race, Paul faced a big swirling vortex. It looked tricky, but he remembered what his new friends taught him. Closing his eyes, taking a deep breath, he flew through the vortex with courage. Everyone watching was amazed as Paul came out on the other side, winning the Grand Sky Race. The land of floating islands erupted in cheers, and the cloud people threw a big party for Paul. There was yummy food, music, and lots of dancing. Paul felt so happy and grateful for his new friends. But after all the fun, Paul knew it was time to go back home. He used the golden key, and in a blink, he was back in Brightsville. As he stepped out of the magical shop, the sun was setting, painting the town square in warm colors. Paul smiled, knowing that even though his magical adventure was over, there would always be more exciting and curious things waiting for him in the world. And so, with a heart full of joy, Paul skipped back home, ready for more adventures to come.